Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, it's that time of year again where we get to run the Reduxes. So, if you hit on, on this actual save file here, you can launch the expedition from this tile down in the bottom corner. But as you can see here, it says that it's not actually available for me to run just yet. Now, quite a lot of people have hit me up with screenshots showing that it is available on their platform, so it might be available on yours. I'm on PlayStation 5 at the moment. And it's not available for me right now. And you see up here, I've also got this connecting to No Man's Sky servers. I didn't have that momentarily ago. So yeah, I did a video on cloud saves coming to No Man's Sky. I'll put a link up there. I think all this is going to kick into life around 3 of the PMs because Sean of the Murray has just put on up a gib emoji with little clocks for eyeballs. And the clocks say 3 PM. So we'll see if that actually happens. But for now, I'm just going to jump inside a game and see if I can boot up the expedition from the console inside of the anomaly. Okay, John's is eerily quiet up here. I'm wondering whether my discovery servers are a bit foobard. But let's head on over here and let's take a quick look at this console. Yeah, it's finished. There's no new expedition for me to run as yet, which is a very odd considering the amount of sort of people that I've seen online saying that... It's actually available to run right now. Let's go over to Discoveries. Yeah, I've lost connection to the Discovery servers. I'm wondering whether they might be doing something server-side over at Hello Games right now. And maybe it's to do with the base issue. I've actually hit on up somebody at Hello Games and said, look, this is my video of me trying to see bases on PlayStation 5. I thought this update would fix it. What's going on? Maybe they're working on that. I don't know. But if I go to Mode Select, I'm still seeing this connecting to No Man's Sky servers, and it just says connecting. There's no status there, and it does say that we're going to get cloud icons appearing to the, to the side of our saves, and you just click the ones that you want to have as your save, and it should upload them to the cloud. I don't think the functionality has been turned on as yet, people. And yeah, I can't see the community expedition here on my PlayStation 5. Let's log in on my PC, and let's see if that's any different, shall we? But yeah, let's just turn this off for now. And I'll see you on my PC. Okay, so we're on PC. Let's see if anything's different. Ah, so we've got up here in the left-hand corner, connecting again. Look, it's just um, going around wearing... Oh, well, one second, I need to move myself over like that. So yeah, you can see up there, top left corner, same thing on PC is happening right now. If I hit new game, again not see any expedition so a lot of people have been putting up screenshots over on the twitterverse and saying that the expedition is there and it's beachhead they're having quite a different experience than me i'm based over in the uk don't know whether that's got something to do with it but i'll show you what i mean okay jump so i'm over on the old twitterverse and this is the emoji that sean's put out there you can see there there, there it is right there and my sort of comment to him was you know there's times to be cryptic sean and then there's other times not to be so cryptic. <laughs> but anyway, let's uh, scroll on down and let's see if I can show you this whole thing with Beachhead. So here we go. There we are. So the Beachhead Redux is now live. Well, you can see there, I've tried it on PC. And you can clearly see this is PC because you've got mouse controls down at the bottom. So I don't really know what's going on there. Maybe it was something that Hello Games toggled to live as a test and someone was sneaky enough to capture a screenshot but right now i can't run beachhead beachhead is not live for me as we just demonstrated people inside of the view of us so that's a very odd one isn't it right well let's go back to this emoji type thing because this is a gib normally gibs are reserved for something quite large now cross save is probably a massive task when you think about it, when it comes to the amount of dev work that goes into that. For Hello Games, it's freaking big. And the fact that they've had to probably bring in some sort of server resource for this. And part of me wonders whether this is a test bed for things to come, for maybe like No Fire. And maybe this could be taken as a subtle hint that we might see cross-save for different platforms for like No Fire. Anyway, my first thoughts were, what the freaking fudge? <laughs> yeah, Beachhead Redux is live. Yeah, according to some it is. Um, I'm not seeing that myself, so it is what it is. Anyway, let's scroll on down. Hugs up, doing a nice little dance there. I get Oscar. What time is it? Yeah, exactly. It's Redux time. You're a little late this time, Sean, my man. Yeah, normally we get like emojis and gibs before updates. This has come after. Are you going to act activate the cross save? 
yeah the server doesn't seem to be up at the moment we're just getting some sort of like little timer i've actually got no man's sky still running in the background why we're going through this i click back on it in a moment and we'll see if it's moved forwards let's go for it cross save is good news for us and you thank yes well i guess it's something at three yeah exactly it's 3 p.m now in the uk in fact i've got my watch on it's actually 307 307 Doomsday clock, yeah. Sean, it's just about to finish Curse last night. Now you give me this? Heck yes. Oh, we've got Zane there saying, summon the patch notes. Yeah, we could do with patch notes. That's a good shout, actually, Zane. Let's go over and let's see if we've got some patch notes now, shall we? Because all we've got at the moment is this up here. We've crossed save. And it's got, it's got decent enough instructions in here about everything that's going on but i would like to see the bug fixes that came in this release note and this this update here we go it's there here we are this wasn't here earlier so we can do this at least let's uh, let's make that a bit bigger on screen here we go people this is a lovely november 7th cross save playstation 5 pro and the normandy returns so it is beachhead okay Hello, this year has already been very busy for No Man's Sky with six updates already this year, including the Huge Worlds update. Yep, and then the curse dropped a few weeks ago and players have been loving the spooky Halloween vibe. Heck yes we have. Love the freaking ship and the new visage. In-game development, some features take a few weeks or months and others take years. Today we're releasing some features that have been in years in the making. See what I mean? So that's probably why we've seen the gib. And that's probably why it's got clocks. Maybe it doesn't mean anything at all about 3pm. Maybe these patch notes just went live at 3pm because they weren't here like half an hour ago. Honest, I checked. Starting from today, we're rolling out cross-save support on all platforms. This has been a huge undertaking and is one of the most requested features. Oh, here we go. There's actually a trailer. All right, well, let's hit the trailer. Let's hope that it hasn't got any copyrighted music. I'll leave my music on in the background to sort of circumvent that, maybe. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, this is copyrighted music. Lucky I left my music playing at the same time. I know it might be a bit of a medley, but you can always hit this up, you know, on your own if you wish. Sweet. Okay, so this is all different platforms, running No Man's Sky at the same time. I noticed Switch is there, the Steam Deck is there. So being able to take your console and hardwired save now over to your Steam Deck or, or onto your Switch, that could be freaking epic, couldn't it? All right, enable cross save. There's a button at the bottom. And then you see the, the cloud icons. We're not seeing that at the moment. It's not switched on right now, or at least I don't think it is. You can go over to their website and you can sign yourself up. I've done a video on, on how to get started. I'll put a link up there. Go watch that. Okay, because the cloud server side is at Hello Games' site. So you have to do a few things on their website. Okay, people? Right, okay. Well, there we go. We've got a little trailer. Being able to jump seamlessly between platforms is really transformative. Uh -huh. Players can play from the comfort of their sofa on the console, continue an expedition on the move with Switch or the Steam Deck, build incredible bases on their beefy PC rig, and view it in incredible immersive virtual reality. You know what, people? I think when the Nintendo Switch 2 comes out or whatever, I might get one so I can play No Man's Sky on the go. I mean, I would get a Switch now, but considering the new ones on the way i might as well get it for the new one you know what i mean no man's sky now supports cross play and cross save between a huge number of platforms including pc playstation 4 playstation 5 xbox one series x and s game pass gog nintendo switch steam deck playstation vr one and two and pc vr when you look at how many platforms this game is on it must be an undertaking every freaking un update these days Adding the ability to transfer saves between platforms via a server is especially difficult for No Man's Sky, as they work as the work involved increases with each platform supported, just like I mentioned, and how long folks have already been playing for. Both of those numbers are large for a tiny team. Okay, no, so that's probably why we've seen the Gib used. This is a massive undertaking, okay? Their side. We might not see it as big out there because it's just, you, know, you can pick up and now play on any platform. Lovely. But that, dev wise, for a small team, it's massive. It's very common for players to rack up thousands of hours of saves exploring across space, building, elaborating bases, 
and cataloging their discoveries. My discovery server's down on PlayStation right now, hence the back end server work with incredibly detailed saves. Adding cross save for us is a little bit like moving house. The longer people have lived there, the more complicated it is to move them. We also have players who have played once at launch eight years ago, suddenly loading up a save on a platform that didn't even exist back then. <laughs> Ow! For those reasons, we have secretly been introducing the technology for this update over six months. Could be why we've seen a lot of squiffy multiplayer type stuff. We are now ready to start rolling out cross save out to a small number of players. A small number of players. Right. Okay. From today, all No Man's Sky players can connect their different platform accounts together, which I've done. You can go do that right now over on that web link. A subset of players will then be admitted to the beta. Participants in the beta would also be able to upload and download saves from any connected platform via the game save screen in the coming weeks. All players will be invited to do so. Right, OK, well, I didn't see any links for beta um, to take part in this. So it could be that I haven't been accepted. <laughs> oh dear. PlayStation 5 Pro. PlayStation 5 Pro releases today and is incredibly feat of engineering. We're also excited to get hands on it from an early days of development. We couldn't wait to see what was possible in No Man's Sky with so much power at our disposal. We're excited to be able to share enhanced versions of No Man's Sky PlayStation 5 Pro with players at launch, bringing even more detail and higher image quality than ever possible on console before. Fudge heck, yeah. Man! Okay, PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution allows for incredible upscaling to provide crisp 4K resolutions at 60 frames per second. No Man's Sky would also be early supporter of 8K resolution with the universe looking incredible at 8K 30 frames per second. Wow, okay. As well as much sharper resolution at higher frame rates, the increased power of the PlayStation 5 Pro has enabled us to ramp up the graphical quality across the board. Across the board, okay. Players on PlayStation 5 Pro will see um, improved lighting with ultra quality reflections and higher quality ambient in inclusion in all modes. Explore the most beautiful and detailed alien worlds No Man's Sky has to offer for the first time on console. You know, the sort of players that are going to benefit from this the most, I think, are those that like making photos and um, sharing them on social media. If you're if you're into No Man's Sky photography, perhaps a PlayStation 5 Pro is going to be worth it for you with this super crisp images, I guess. I mean, for me as a content creator, and I'm uploading to YouTube, which the highest it goes is kind of like an upscaled 4K from 2K. Not really. Not only this, but all these improvements also come to PlayStation VR 2. OK with our most stunning virtual reality imagery, offering even more immersive experience for travellers amongst the stars. Great! After I got rid of my PlayStation VR 2. <laughs> the small team at Hello Games like nothing more than to play around with the new technology, from supporting our players' first-generation hardware right back to Switch and PlayStation 4 to the highest PCs at generation. Hold on, I wonder if that means you've got to have a PlayStation 5 Pro with a PlayStation VR 2 plugged in to see that. That's not really that clear, is it? To the highest end PCs, next generation consoles now supporting cutting edge PlayStation 5 Pro is available at launch for another free update. It's another free update to PlayStation 5 Pro. That's good news. But because all of this is under the PlayStation 5 Pro header, I think that mention of the PlayStation VR 2 only applies to people plugging PlayStation VR 2 into a PlayStation 5 Pro, not a base, base model. At least that's how I'm interpreting this. The Normandy Returns. Everyone here at Hello Games is a huge sci-fi nerd. One of the absolute favourite series in, in, in The Incredible is uh, Mass Effect Games. To join Mass Effect's annual N7 celebrations, we're pleased to welcome the legendary Normandy SR1 back into No Man's Sky. And there is a little trailer of um, the Normandy expedition. Shall we watch it? I think we should. Here we go. Let's hit play. There we go. Well, it's only one minute, seven seconds. But when the Normandy comes in, look at that, boom. 
Oh, that was a moment. That was a proper moment in No Man's Sky, I have to say. So to see that coming back in again is going to be awesome for new players. It really is. So you're in for a treat, people out there inside of the Viewerverse. If you didn't get Normandy first time around, here it is in all of its glory. And doesn't it look glorious? Yes, it does. Heck, yes, it does. It's awesome, in fact. But there we go, people. There we are. So that's going to be the Normandy expedition or the Beachhead expedition. And that should be starting pretty much now. Some people are seeing it already. Other people, not so much. I mean, I'm not seeing it. So who freaking knows? A bit of a dodgy one. But there we go. Nice. It was back in 2021 that Norm Normandy made its first appearance in the first of the expeditions we ever ran. The limited time expedition starts today, runs for two weeks and then culminates in players being able to claim the Normandy for their fleet. Just one expedition. Is this the actual reduxes for the festive period then? I don't know. In the intervening years since that event, we've welcomed a huge number of travellers. Because this is only two weeks, I think this is going to take us to the first week of December, or close, and then I think we're going to see the reduxes. I think we're going to get to see another four. I think we're going to get this as, an, as a bonus redux. OK, not to a whole new cohort of Switch players, an increasingly large number of Chinese fans. Many of these new players have envied those who proudly display their Normandy in their frigate collection. Heck yeah! Mass Effect knows the legendary frigate only appears when it's most needed. Today and for the next two weeks, as a love letter from one science fiction game to another, we're giving everyone another chance to encounter the Normandy in an overhauled version of the original mission and there to add to their collection. Huge thanks to our friends at EA and BioWare for helping making this happen. Heck yes, BioWare people. It has been a momentous year for No Man's Sky in a number of ways, and we're grateful to be able to continue this journey with you. And if you're interested in following along with the updates of our upcoming project, Light No Fire, you can wishlist it on Steam here. I've already wishlisted it. There's the trailer for Light No Fire. I think we might get to see another trailer for Light No Fire in December at the Game Awards. I think it's around the 12th this year, the Game Awards. But here we go. Here's the patch notes. So let's see if there's much to do with base loading, because at the moment my base loading is still stuffed on PlayStation 5. And I was hoping this update would fix it, mainly because it's for you know PlayStation 5 Pro and so forth and so on. OK, fix the crash loading of multi-tools. Really? Does that mean they might be working on bringing us in some more multi-tools, people? Ha! Or the incinerator module. Hmm. OK, fix the rare crash from PlayStation consoles. Right, lovely jubbly. OK, cool. Fix an issue preventing older PlayStation 4 games saves from being loaded. Right. Fix a rare crash on Xbox when loading certain save games. Maybe these two are to do with the cloud saves, OK? Now, whenever you see bug fixes around things, that's usually an indication that they're working on those things in the background. So I'd imagine that's because they've been doing the cloud saves. And that's why I'm wondering whether we might see something to do with multi-tools happening very soon, people. Fix an increased icon for the Grub Cocoon at the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion. I noticed that because before it used to be one of those derelict freighter scuttle type bug type looking things that go up the walls and on the ceilings. Good. Nice. Fix an incorrect icon text at the catalogue archive for the cursed. Me? Me? I have no idea what that's on about. Reposition the save indicator on the men menu. Right. OK. All right. Fine. Brilliant. Talking of which, let's go back over to our No Man's Sky. Ah, well, where's the cloud save thingy gone? It's vanished again. It was up there earlier. Let's go back out and go back in. No. And there's nothing down here to enable it. But look what I can see at the bottom of the screen. Beachhead expedition available. Time remaining two weeks. So if I hit... It's there now, people. Beachhead is now there. So I might jump back over to my PlayStation because my PlayStation is going to be my forever save, isn't it? And that's the one that I want as cloud to bring over to my PC. This save basically is going to be binnable soon, even though it's got 95 hours in it on my PC. I want to bring across my legacy PlayStation save because I've got base parts that just aren't available on PC. 
So there we go, people. There's your patch notes. There's everything you need to know about Cloud Saves, Expedition Running, the whole shebang. I'm going to jump back over to my PlayStation now and make a new video on the best tips for Beachhead, how to get it done as quickly as possible. So yeah, if that sounds good to you, hit that bell, hit the sub subscribe, and that video should be my next video. Salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again, people in the viewers.